hi friends radhika ravi kumar here so welcome back in the previous tutorial we had seen uh, how to create this mapping and uh, also we had left it uh, you know uh, in between like we had to run this mapping and see how our output is going to be like so hope you guys have already seen the previous tutorial and continuing with that with this one so okay just uh, now you need to open your uh, workflow manager that's over here so that i have already opened it's here so just give your credentials in order to open the workflow monitor so i have this workflow monitor over here so what you need to do is you need to create a session for your mapping just go to workflow and uh, sorry just go to task and create a session so uh, my session name is going to be like um, aggregator trans trans underscore okay so our transformation and uh, i'm very sorry that we didn't save our transformation that we already created and that's why we are not able to see our mapping over here let me create once again yeah we can see our transformation our so our trans sorry our mapping name was m underscore agr so just uh, done and you can see the session has been created i'll delete this for time being so our session has been created so now we need to link with link this with start so that's it so it's done now just you need to make some changes in the session just double click on the session our session window will uh, open so here you can see you need to edit the task over here there are certain things like you need to go for the mapping and in the mapping you need to give the uh, you know source path of your flat file so what is our source path we we'll first fetch that okay here this is our source this is our source i know sorry this one is our source so just go to right click properties you will be getting your source here just copy this okay just go back to our workflow manager and here double click on the session go to mapping sources then you can see there is something called source file directory just uh, edit this and paste the path you want it and just apply and then here you can go to our target there is something called target over here just go to target and there also you want to you should be making changes because that is where if you make the changes if you give the path that is where your target file is going to be generated so our first target file i'm going to give as the same as uh, my source path itself so i want it to be in txt apply then go to second target file and output file sorry output file directory i'm going to change this to same as my target one and i want this to be txt file okay so it's done apply okay now uh, our session is ready to run just uh, you know refresh right click refresh the mapping and save it save your workflow and now right click and uh, start task once you start the task all the process will uh, will go on and your workflow monitor will uh, appear so in that workflow monitor you can uh, see whether your mapping is running properly or not and all so we'll see i don't know what happened right now just set start workflow lock yeah you can see our mapping ran and it is succeeded so let us go to our desktop and see whether yeah you can see two files has been generated here one file is having uh, the count as seven and uh, the other one is having uh, our result but we haven't got our headers right so for that we need to make changes over here again so just click on the session and go to mapping targets and here you can see a option called header option 
just um, select output file names for your target one and also do the same for your second uh, target two here you can see output file uh, file field name sorry apply okay just save your session again and then start task once you start task again it will run you can see it's running and uh, yeah it succeeded so now if we go back and uh, see our files you can see the header has been given the count is seven there are seven records in it and the second target file it was having position average salary min salary max salary you can see all these things so we have fetched the requirement of our you know scenario uh, hope you guys have understood uh, what is our scenario and wh what exactly our requi requirement was and how we created the mapping and all and i hope you guys even enjoyed the tutorial so please support my videos and also keep sharing my videos to other of your friends and all and uh, there is a facebook page that i've created uh, you can find the link in my channel itself so please do like my facebook page and uh, keep supporting and also you know stay tuned thank you very much for watching